recording an F wave. The F wave test is found under the nerve conduction studies. Select F wave. A selection of nerves are, are displayed. In this example, we're going to use ulnar and we're going to choose our side and then simply click OK. We're going to turn up our intensity just slightly and use the stimulate key. We're going to verify that we're at super maximum by turning up just a little bit more. The way the compound motor action potential got much larger so we're going to turn it up a little bit more to make sure we are super maximal. And that one did not change much. I'm going to press the orange square key for erase. I may have to press it more than once to erase all my traces. I'm going to select the single stimulus two or three times. And now I'm going to switch to the recurrent stimulus to record the rest of my F waves. The stimulator will automatically stop after 10 selections. The system recognizes the F waves. The yellow trace signifies the F wave with the shortest latency the red cursor coincides with that latency. If you do not agree with that latency and want to make a change, use this cursor knob to turn the latency to the one more desirable. When it's set correctly, press the button to update the results table. We can look at our F waves in the superimpose mode by pressing the superimpose key, the green square key. Additionally, we can remove some of the recovery phase from the C map by pressing the enhance key. Before we do that, we need to click somewhere so that we do not have a selected trace and it enhances all signals we'll do that with the green circle key. Now you see the much nicer baseline. When you're satisfied with your results, press exit test to save the data and to return you to the test selection screen. 